mobile computing. I'm pleased, therefore, to introduce Motorola Atrix 4G, the world's most powerful smartphone. It features a dual core processor which comprises two 1 gigahertz cores, delivering up to 2 gigahertz of processing capability. It also features a 1930 milliamp hour battery in a 10.9 milli milli millimeter thick form, form factor and one gigabyte of RAM, which is comparable to PC only a few years ago, and a quarter display, quarter high def, quarter HD, QHD def, display that delivers crisp, clean video images and web browsing. It also features an innovative fingerprint reader that makes unlocking your device faster and more secure. But even with all of these capabilities, even with the world's most powerful, powerful smartphone, it still doesn't meet the, all the needs that I have when I come to on a business trip, uh, like say perhaps to CES. We know that most people can get through 80% of the day and uh, using their smartphone. They can check their email, respond to their email, do social networking and some of the websites. But there are still tasks that greatly benefit from a larger screen and a keyboard and a mouse such as web browsing, document creation, watching HD video. The Motorola Atrix 4G extends the smartphone experience to offer a larger display, keyboard and mouse experience. To show you more about how we did this, I'd like to welcome Sian Chow to the stage. Come on, Sian. Sian and his team led the development of some of these exciting new applications. Thank you, Sanjay. Good evening, everyone. It's great to be here. Um, we have created some exciting new ex uh, experiences with this smartphone, and Motorola Atrix 4G was developed by some very unique software and accessories. And we have designed new web, tap, web top and entertainment applications to specifically address these needs. Motorola's web top application is a browser based desktop, as you would from a PC, but driven entirely from Motorola Atrix 4G smartphone. This is like nothing you've seen before. This design allows us to deliver unprecedented level of integration between your smartphone and your computing environment because it is one and the same thing. Remember, everything you're about to see is driven entirely by Motorola Atrix 4G smartphone. Sian? Great, thank you. So there's a lot to show here, and we don't have time to go through it all, but please visit the demo bar afterwards, and there are very qualified people to run through all that's available here. So, here we go. So this is the HD dock. This is the entertainment center you're seeing here. Uh, it's just the phone and the dock. Here's the dock. It just looks like any of our regular docks, except that it's got three USB ports, an HDMI out, and of course charging. So why don't we go ahead. This entertainment center allows you to view all the content that's already stored on your device. So if you take a video or take some pictures, it's immediately available to you on the big screen through an HDMI cable. Uh, I'm going to use the phone here as the remote. As you can see, I can uh, go ahead and navigate here. But we also have remote control to allow you to do this. Uh, all the content is capable of being displayed at HD. So here's a nice little HD clip that we have. Okay, great. All right, so you can see music, you can play your music, you can see your pictures, and you can play videos. But what about streaming videos? What about the web? What about all those things that standard multimedia centers don't allow you to do? Well, we solved that problem as well. And you got a preview of it this morning, but I'll go ahead and do a much more thorough preview. Um, Throw a review of it. This is the web tab application. Okay? As you can see, here's Android. We'll get back to that later. And this is a full implementation, as you can see here, uh, private, private browsing, etc., of Mozilla's Firefox version 3.6.13, which is pretty much the newest one you can download at this time. That's awesome. Okay, so why don't we go ahead? See, uh, this is full desktop browser. This is not a mobile browser. This is full desktop this browser not running browser. on Motorola Atrix 4G, right? That's correct. So, here's the CNN page, right? And uh, again, multiple <laughs> tabs. So we can do multiple tabs. We can do multiple windows. I keep double-clicking now, sorry about that. Oh, that's fast. 
And so here's more windows. Let's go. And uh, this does fully integrate Adobe Flash 10.1. So when you go to a website that has Flash, you get the full Flash experience that you would not normally see in, uh, in most handsets. Again, remember, this, this is completely driven by the phone. I'll do a demonstration to prove it in a second here. OK, so let's take a look at this uh, Android. We've got all the status on your Android window is reflected in, on your desktop, right? Because again, it is your phone that's driving the entire desktop. You can uh, double click to get to any of these items here. You'll notice when I launch an application, it launches into a tab, just like Firefox, which gives you excellent multitasking capability. There's calculator. So you also have your menu, home, back, let's go ahead and hit home there, back, search, and rotate. This window is fully resizable and can go full screen as well. So if you wanted a full screen Android experience, for instance, if you wanted to play, I don't know, uh, Angry Birds or something, oops, misclicked there. <laughs> ah. If you wanted to play Angry Birds full screen with your mouse and keyboard, you could do that. <laughs> okay, so. All right, again, since this is your phone, we've integrated the telephone functionality, obviously. So why don't we go ahead and call the Venetian. Go to contact information here, scroll down. So you see the numbers are highlighted. I can right click, I can call it, I can save the information to contacts, I can send an SMS, and go ahead and hit call there, and there's a dialer uh, populating it. Okay, so you know this is, again, there's a lot more to show. This is just a very brief preview. We. We knew this was a good solution for our consumers, but we also sat down with um, some leading CIOs and presented this solution. They felt it was very useful for them because now they only had to manage and upgrade a single device. But <laughs> that's not all, there's, there's more. Uh, that single device, because this is, this is where you can see this, this is a desktop, similar to a desktop PC here. But if you wanted to go mobile, we also created this laptop dock. Okay? Laptop dock is 13.9 millimeters thin. Uh, stereo speakers. There's, the, there's where you replace your phone. 11.6 inch, very large display. Uh, large touchpad, large uh, keyboard there. And uh, 36 watt hour battery for up to 8 hours of battery life. Because there is no fan, there's no storage, there's no processing in here. Everything is actually run from the phone. Um, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and so remember what's showing on the screen now. And take it off. We're going to put it in here. And there's not even a power switch. The moment you dock your phone, it comes on, shows the Motorola logo, launches webtop, and bam, you're exactly where you were on your desktop. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Woo. Thank you, Sam. This is truly impressive how WebTop and our new accessories unleash the power of Motorola Atrix 4G. I think this is an industry first. This has a little over eight hours of battery life, six hours of video, about 10 hours of web browsing on Wi-Fi. It's 11.6 inch display, 36 kilowatt hour battery. It really enables you to have a full transatlantic experience on one charge. And by the way, when you take the phone away, the phone is charged because that battery is charging the display. So this is a pretty, pretty exciting device. And I think it will transform the way people use their smartphones. And the convergence of computing and mobility has now a new form. Not just a tablet. Tablet is one excellent form, but this is another new form. So earlier today, we announced the availability of Atrix 4G in the U.S. with the AT&T. And I'd like to introduce Jeff Bradley, Senior Vice President of Devices from AT&T Mobility, to come and talk to us. Thank you, Sanjay. I am uh, pleased to be here with you today. And first, congratulations on the launch of your new company. We're excited to have Motorola be such an important part of our portfolio. As you heard earlier today at the AT&T Developer Summit, Sanjay announced the Atrix 4G, and we're proud to offer it with Motorola exclusively for AT&T customers in the coming weeks. AT&T is the clear leader for smartphones and committed to a leading lineup of Android devices this year. 
We also announced this morning we're going to introduce over 20 4G devices by the end of 2011. We have the most advanced bro mobile broadband network and it's getting faster with 4G. And we're the only carrier who will offer both an HSPA Plus and LTE network, giving our customers the best possible path to 4G.